that the restoration of all grounded destinies. Cry aloud in the valley of dry bones, and I will give them life. Today, everything holding anybody hostage in any form shall be broken off your life. Amen. Ezekiel 37 and verse 10 to 14. This is where the interpretation of that encounter came. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them, and they leaped and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Zion, the church. Behold, they say, our bones are dry, and our hope is lost. I got off from my path. There are many believers today in that state. What else? Everything is off. They say unto me, son of man. I mean, therefore prophesy unto them. Thus said the Lord. Behold, O oh my people, I will open your graves. And cause you to come out of your graves. And I will bring you into my agenda for the year. Yeah. And you shall know that I'm the Lord when I've opened your grave, all oh, my people, and brought you up out of your grave. Yeah. Now, listen every form of grave shall be shattered by the arm of prophetic arm. Now, hear this, it will help you to receive what is going on. Who are prophets? Prophets are agents of liberation, not of bandage. He sent Moses, the prophet. Come now, now we send you to Egypt. And we bring out my people out of the land of Egypt, the house of bandage. My God. And God did what he said. For by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of the house of bandits. You are coming out today. Amen. And by a prophet was he preserved. We'll see at chapter 12 and verse 13. Prophets are custodians of God's agenda on the earth. The Lord will do nothing, but he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Prophets are God's watchmen over the church and the nations. Zechariah 3, 17, I've made you a watchman where you receive a word from me and give them warning from me. I said to you as a prophet over the nations and the kingdoms. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. But just as there are fake currencies in every nation of the world, there are also fake prophets. Come on, are you here? Anyway? Many self-styled prophets. Money collecting prophets. But the fact that there are fake currencies is a proof that there are, these, there are the genuine ones. You can only fake something that's genuine. You can't fake the fake. No. In the same vein, the fact that there are false prophets all around the world today is a validation that there are genuine prophets. How do I know which is genuine and which is fake? Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 21 and 22. Deuteronomy 18, 21 and 20. And if thou shalt say in thy heart, how then shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? Now, when the prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. But the prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Can't take for fake. But then you may have the new prophets and have a wrong disposition to them. Ezekiel 33 
verse 31 to 33. Here is the word of the Lord. And they come unto thee as people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. They hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much law, but their heart quit after their covetousness. And lo, thou hast unto them a very lovely song of one that has a pleasant voice, and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they will not do them. Now verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. It will come. The one who scorn it will be the loser. The ones who embrace will be the beneficiaries. Lo, it will come. Every genuine prophet speaks as God's mouthpiece. What they say comes, it may not come to pass in your life, but they come to pass in the life of the people that choose to believe them. Command it to turn it to turn it to turn it They start to misunderstood any day because they say things that are off site. They don't line up. You say that you have a, a, a you know eviction order in your church in um, Kaduna. You say God said that let's get that to Lagos. Are you not running away? God didn't tell him anything like that. They mean just trying to escape from this problem. Oh, it, it's time to be misunderstood. It's time to stop. You know that the prophet prophetic release. You know the reason why so people can come to church. So you don't sit down in the wrong side, and nothing good is happening. Nothing good is happening. I spent hours upon hours in the night, in the day, buying to the mind of God. What the year carries. I told my son last night, I woke up about five times the previous night. I would just lay down and then light to strike. I'll come back again to my table. And then, up. Oh. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. We are not those foamy words, sir. We are not forming wars. We are not. Now listen, this church will experience four dimensional level of growth. Amen. This year. Amen. There is no go come about it. I don't believe it. That's a cup of tea. Did you believe that we we'll get to 75 nations last year? Why did we get there? Did you ever pray on it? Did you ever pray on it? That, that's how irrelevant you and I are in God's agenda. Those who care to follow, they benefit from it. Those who despise it, they just use it. And so we sat down at home. And what we saw from 95 of our foreign mission in Divo, we saw more than that in one year. Since 95, we saw more than that in one year. For 27 years, we saw more than what we saw in 27 years in one year. Because God said so. Parisco Kakento Nageta Pradeko. Every grave that must have held you down in a choking situation in any area of your life, I command them open today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet, he shall receive a prophet's reward. There's no game about it. You don't receive it, you can't get it. Believe the Lord your God shall be established. Believe also his prophets that he sent to you, and he shall prosper. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. Yeah. Prophets are agents of rescue. Today is declared your day of rescue. Yeah. Isaiah 42 and verse 22. This is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. And they are hidden prison houses. They are for a free and non deliverer and for his boy and nonsense restore. God sent me to tell the forces holding you back, restore. Yeah. He sent me to throw you this lifeline. Get out of that pit where there is no water. Yeah. Every 
every siege of sickness and disease, tormenting anyone under the sound of my voice, is declared over today. Every agent of the devil that wants you dead dies in your place. For Israel is my son and my firstborn, and let my son go that he may suffer. me. If you won't let him go, I will kill your son because I must free myself. Whatever won't let you go, God will kill. Whatever is sitting on your destiny, the destiny of your children, the destiny of your family, in the name of Jesus, they are on seated today. It's your day. Today is your day. Fasting is ordained for the rescue of the oppressed. The rescue of those held down by the wicked. Therefore, today, today, this day, not tomorrow, today, today, whatever has been choking any area of your life is broken off you finally. Jesus was in Nazareth and he could not do no mighty works and he marveled at the unbelief. He is that prophet that came like Moses. Is God fulfillment of prophecy? Yet it couldn't impart on them because of their unbelief. Now, listen to me. Everyone under any marital siege today, that siege is.